But what if you have an object in JavaScript, a normal classic object like a dictionary? Or in JavaScript you call them dictionaries, in Python you call them uh, objects, in Python you call them dictionaries. So if you have something like that and you want to incorporate it into your into your HTML, remember that you can imagine it like you have the quotes here. It's the same thing. It's like you have the quotes but you don't have to concatenate anymore. That's what it's it's meant for React. So it says here, create the necessary code to make your your file render the following output. Okay, so so if we want to make that output, I guess we're gonna have to enter here. Then we put in h ones, one h one like this. I put my h two like this. And then here in name, I guess it would be instead of name, it would be customer dot first name, because that's how we access that value. Customer dot first name, and then the same will happen with last name, where, where it says Dylan. I put customer dot last name. It's built. My name is Bob. My Bob is Bob. It's probably wrong, right? I put it in the wrong side. Let me fix it. It's supposed to say my name. My name is Bob. Let me test it. So it's not returning literally what was asked. So let's see why. My last name is Dylan, my first name is Bob. Let's try it again. My name is Bob, my last name is Dylan. It looks good. Let's see what's the difference. If you scroll up, you can see here the testing that is being made. Ah, uh, there's probably a little space. My last name is. So we gotta put it together like this. That's a little, like you can recognize it by the the square, the red square here is saying that that's missing. So apparently it, it is expecting for a space right there. So I'm just putting it, I know it doesn't make sense because when you connect it like this, it's all together, it's supposed to be with, with a space, but it is what it is. Like it's really hard to automatically test sometimes when you have a React output. Still, it's not the same. Ah, because it wasn't named, I need to put it. Let me do it like this. It was in the name. I know it was in the last name. So we still have an issue. Let me see why. My last name is. My last name is. So let's see. Let's see like this. Ah, it's in both. Okay, let's try in both. Yeah, everything amazing. So I'm, I'm really sorry about those little issues. You're gonna have to read here the, the feedback from the exercise because it's tricky sometimes.